control F again and okay delete everything we have okay this time we're looking for um, let's click on the rectangle here we're looking for product with a big P and the rest would be lowercase uh, okay as you see here in a minute product with a big P capital P and uh, P has to be uppercase and the rest has to be lowercase we go for find and here it is product here it is product T server and T land man and T again okay so what we have to do here we only got one server and T and we have to change this to win and T and the rest of the um, spaces that are left we have to change it to zero hex keys okay click on this and this time we have to actually enter the um, keys here as lower cases okay so w i n n t win n t and for the rest of the um, word uh, uh, the rest of the uh, keys that are left here which are r and n and t we come back here and choose 72 6 e and 74 and um, click double um, two times zero zero here again 74 74 which stands for t we would um, hit zeros again and here as you see these are gone so this is what we have to do here simply just close it and do you want to save changes to the following document yes we want to save, save the changes and simply here we're done okay we don't have yet the options in the um, disk management console we have to uh, restart our computer um, hopefully we, we won't run into you know, running into any kind of problems since you know what happened with the free eggs editor seconds ago so this management just make sure that we don't have the options yet um, new here new volume next oh here we have it we have mirrored but raid 5 is yet uh, unenabled so let's just restart it to see if it if it's actually enabled let's go ahead start uh, turn off computer restart okay so we take a minute or so to restart um, as I said um, the complete actually the, the complete steps that you have to take to change um, these um, separate files uh, and so on and the hex editor and so on what you have to do I've uploaded uh, I've uh, placed uh, a link uh, on the YouTube information bar on the right um, you can actually go there and download the um, PDF file that's associated with the video and you could actually uh, exactly see the changes that you have to make so you're not going to run into any problems if you're actually not viewing the complete video and okay so let's just give it a minute or so so the computer boots up it won't take that long before you do this just make sure that uh, you're on your own this is just complete for informational purposes only and um, you know everything if if you if you want to actually know um, completely about this disclaimer thing and so on you could just simply go to imparlabs.blogstore.com and click the disclaimer to read all about it because this is really important and okay so we're back up without any problems we didn't run, in, run into any kind of problems let's go to start my computer and manage and see if it's working here we are disk management and let's open this up maximize it and here we are okay so let's click on the dynamic disk volume and uh, dynamic disk that we have here let's create a volume new volume let's click next and rate 5 is still on an it's not enabled oh okay the reason rate 5 is not enabled actually this was my mistake the reason rate 5 is not enabled right now because rate 5 actually is um would be running on three multiple dynamic disks and the reason it's in uh disabled here is that 
we don't have um, three dynamic disks here we only have two and uh, although mirrored volumes run on only two um, dynamic disks dynamic disks so that was the reason that it was grayed out and that was my mistake that I said possibly we'd restart that it will fix it no actually it was um, the option was there but since we don't have a third um, dynamic disk drive it's not it's grayed out but if you had three disk drives that would, would have been possibly an option and you would have used it uh, if you want to know actually uh, what kind of drives and volumes these are volumes because these are on dynamic disk drives um, these volumes are and so on and what's the uh, what kind of features that they have uh, you could just simply go to the website in parallelapps.blackstar.com and go to the disk management video tutorial and review it and it would give you complete uh, complete information of what kind of volumes and disk drives and so on the, these are so I think this is enough um, and we're actually finished with the video um, if you've got any comments and so on you just uh, simply could leave a comment um, subscribe that's really important you could subscribe um, there's no donation, nothing, and just subscribe. That's the most important thing right now. And we, I'll wish you luck, so you won't run into any problems. But if you did, um, just contact me. I would just try to give you some kind of guidelines so it can help you out. And one other thing, before you do make any changes, make sure that you have backed up all the three files that you're actually you're going to change them before any kind of changes that you're going to do and if you've backed up those uh, files just bring it back up your uh, windows which is simply would be like a piece of cake if that's what you say so that's for it uh, wish you good luck and uh, goodbye